Good morning. Welcome to Dork Nerd Adventures. I am Tommy. Hopefully the audio is not too loud, but I intentionally have the noise canceling off on my uh, recording device here. And that's because I'm trying to get a baseline. So today's kind of a big day. I've had the Bronco over two years. And originally I changed my order to a soft top uh, on the promise that Ford would make hard tops available. Um, and that never really came true. Uh, my last video, I kind of went over some things and the wear on the soft top after two years and 33,000 miles and some things I didn't like. Um, and initially, the aftermarket answers were pretty were pretty rough. Um, first to kind of announce a, a hard top was ADB Fiberglass. I even went up to their shop in Costa Mesa and looked at their prototype, and it looked pretty darn good. Uh, but they wanted well north of $7,500 up front for, for most configurations, for most customers, and they're over a year late shipping their products. Um, Anderson Composites, you can order a clone of the OEM hardtop, uh, which is a four-piece unit, and that would run you, I think, $6,500. Uh, but their production times are kind of not deterministic, so it probably takes anywhere from five to seven months to get one, and you have to go through like an off-road dealer to be able to order one. Um, and then the other two dimensions, or there's three dimensions, there's rally tops, which I really didn't like the look of their design, their first generation design, they've improved it a bit. Um, and then Armadillo Designs, who is also the fabrication shop for Racket Designs roof racks. Um, they're making one out of aluminum, and they've kind of been a little stagnant in product updates, and they still have only produced slampback hard tops for the four-door Bronco, and that just doesn't work for me. I need a, I need a square back one because I use this thing mostly for car camping. So that wasn't going to work really at all. Um, and that was going to run north, well north of $8,000, but the advantage of that one was it was near $8,000 uh, to have the four-door version with the square back, with, with a headliner, with all those things. So this morning, I'm headed up to Riverside from San Diego to turn off-road. They kind of came out of stealth in the summer and announced that they were going to make one. And by November, they had a prototype. And in January, the order banks opened. And it's now February, and I'm going to pick it up. Um, I'm pretty excited. It's only two pieces. Uh, the, the piece above the, the, the second bench here, the second row, uh, is not removable. It's, that's more one unit. And then there's a Targa that goes over the, the driver and passenger. Um, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I got about an hour drive here, and I'll, I don't know if I'll take video in the shop, but I'm definitely going to take more video on the way back and do walk arounds and, if the rain cooperates, some, uh, some drone shots. But a few other things to look at real quick. I'll turn the video around here. But my Apple Watch will have to be the baseline for, for noise in this thing. Um, you can see I'm running anywhere from 75 to 82 decibels in here. Um, probably not the best measuring device for this kind of test, but um, at least it'll be a consistent baseline from, from before and after. So uh, hopefully we'll see how that goes, and uh, I should be there in an hour. My install, I have to kill some time, and my uh, install is at 11, so it's only 8.30 right now. So. Hopefully folks find this useful. I'll be doing full walk-arounds, and uh, you can see behind me I've got my seats laid down. Um, I have my fridge slide removed, um, and yeah, so my soft top will be riding back with me in the back, so we'll see how it goes. So, see you shortly. All right, and I'm back. Install was complete. Uh, let me spin the camera around for a moment. See, we're holding 70 to decibels, sometimes going down into the 60s. Um, so generally pretty happy. Um, huge reduction in noise. Um, I do like the finish of the top, but I'll kind of save uh, any other thoughts from when I'm doing an outside walk around, and then I'll get back inside the car and hopefully get a close up of a lot of the, uh, the finish and the different components in here. All right, so let's get at it. I, uh... Picked up the hard top from Turn Off Road about an hour and a half ago. Took about 45 minutes for the guys to install it. Um, 
in my wisdom, I decided to go up on top of Palomar Mountain during a rather large rainstorm and forgot that it's probably like 30 degrees up there, which it is. So I dropped a thousand feet in elevation mountain down a little, a little lower, and uh, we can take a look at this thing. All right, so let's spin this around. <clears throat> so here it is. Uh, looking pretty good, generally. I like the lines of it. Um, everything looks like it's sealed up pretty well. Uh, the, the finish of it's pretty excellent. I know a lot of people don't love the, the logo and the size of it, but it doesn't really bother me. There is also one kind of behind this glass. You can't see it in the reflection, probably. And there is a similar one kind of right here behind the light that you can see in the rear view mirror. Um, so generally, let's do a kind of a walk around here, and I'll stand up on my uh, sideboard so we can see what the top looks like. But you know, I think a lot of folks have a question about this angle. So there's there's like two angles. There's this piece right here where there's a bend in the fiberglass, and then there's the back. So this follows the glass uh, specifically, and then there's like kind of a, a beveled edge here that follows this glass line. So. Hopefully that makes things a little more clear. Um, let's take a step up. Need to... There we go, and it's starting to rain a little bit more, so I don't know how long I'll be at this, but you can see the top of the roof here. It's a fun little truck driving by. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say. I mean, it's a fiberglass uh, top, but I'm pretty happy with the fit and finish. Um, you can see here those inserts here, those reinforcements for uh, connecting roof racks and whatnot, right there. So all that being said, uh, I'll do a few more kind of walk arounds here, see what things look like. But hopefully well, that answers a lot of questions for some folks. I've not yet opened the rear glass, so let's take a look and see what that looks like. One thing that's not too obvious on the photos is this bottom piece, um, this like molded, I guess that's also fiberglass piece, but I think the OEM would be glass all the way down to the bottom. This one has this kind of piece right here. The glass ends right here, and then there's this other kind of chunk. So take a look. There's old softy top right there. Hopefully I never use you ever again. And there we go. So I think, yeah, I think this piece of glass is a bit smaller and you can see the, that other turn off-road sticker right there and I think where the where the motor for the wiper is going to be there so you get some uh, kind of hard for the camera to react going uh, in the darker section but see what see what I can pull off there okay <clears throat> so I'm back inside the vehicle and I got a nice flashlight. I'm going to point it at some of these components I think some folks have been wanting to see in a little more detail. So up here is where the latching mechanism is. Um, I took Nate Harrison grade up here, which is like a bumpy truck trail. And sure enough, this, uh, this latch developed kind of a squeak. Like if I reached up my hand and grabbed it, um, it would be... It, it, it quit. So I'm thinking there's a good possibility that I end up putting some kind of washers or um, nylon washers in here somehow. Um, I think that would improve that a little bit. Um, but other than that, it didn't really give me any grief. I haven't heard any squeaks or anything. Um, the material here, yeah, I guess it's like that marine... Um, carpet. Um, I, I like it. I think it looks very clean. Um, I don't, it doesn't seem to be attracting any uh, dirt or dust in any way, but um, there is a bit of a, a glue smell going on to it, which I'm sure will dissipate over time, but uh, the guys in the shop were saying that they're, they're cutting all these by hand right now with each top. So the cops come in and then they apply the, um, the material and that probably has something to do with it. Um, let's see if I can get a bit more. This is actually quite hard to operate, like a flashlight with one hand and a gimbal camera with the other, but hopefully folks can see fairly well what those components look like. And yeah, overall pretty darn happy with how this turned out. Um, 
I'll make more video if folks are interested and want to see specific components. But uh, I'm pretty stoked. You know, I've had this Bronco since October 2021. I was one of the folks who changed their order to a soft top to get it sooner. And uh, really, you know, I would have liked to have held up for a hard top, but I also have had a ton of adventures over the last two and a half years with this thing and wouldn't trade that for anything. So I guess good things come to those who wait. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it would be nice if both this panel and the second row came off, but honestly, I, I hardly will, will need to take that second row off or take the whole top off. I don't have anywhere to store a top if I take it off. So that's unlikely to happen. So hopefully this was useful for anybody who's considering one of these. Um, I'll see if I can take some photos and do like a slideshow at the end of this. Take care.